Hi, my name is Kelly Lindell. After 20 years as a fitness instructor, I started a home care agency to help seniors stay independent. After working closely with hundreds of folks over 50, I'm back to preaching fitness because I am convinced, and tons of research support my beliefs, that the number one thing you can do to stay healthy as you age is to be active. Face it, we're all aging, but let's not take it sitting down. Come on, join me, let's go get active. Well, hello, thank you so much for joining us today. Are you ready to have a ball? Well, when most people think of fitness, they think they need to go to a gym or buy expensive equipment. Sadly, for many people, that's just not a realistic option. So they miss out on all the many health benefits of exercise. Well, today you are going to learn how to use inexpensive household items as your own personal gym. That's right, no expensive equipment required. The items you'll need for today's exercises are a sturdy chair, such as a dining room or kitchen chair with arms, Two plates, and paper plates are ideal, but any unused old plates are fine too. And you'll wanna be doing the exercises on carpet because we'll, the plates will be on the floor and you don't wanna scratch your floor. Next, an inexpensive rubber ball. One like these can be purchased really at any general store like Target or Walmart. I actually got this one at a grocery store and I think I paid a dollar for it. Ideally, when you choose your ball, you want to pick one that's slightly soft so that you can indent it when you press into it so that it has a little bit of give so that you can get some good resistance. Last and most importantly is a nice big glass of water that you can sip on while you exercise. We can never have enough water and for many of us drinking a lot of water at one time can make you feel kind of bloated. So when you sip on it throughout the day and have a glass nearby you all the time, you take it in a little bit at a time, the way your body absorbs it. Your body will thank you by being much better hydrated. All right, if you have these items around your house, please go grab them now. If you don't have them, don't worry, you can still do the exercises. You just won't get quite the same in intensity. All right, go grab them now, but hurry back to enjoy a word from our sponsors and we'll get started in just a minute to have a ball and make fitness fun. Comfort Keepers is dedicated to keeping seniors safe, healthy, and independent by providing a full range of in-home services to fit your needs. We're always here to help. Welcome back. We are going to get started by using an inexpensive rubber ball. These exercises can be done either sitting or standing. So if you have any structural limitations or blood pressure issues where you could get lightheaded, please follow my friend Ruby who will be demonstrating the exercises while sitting in a chair. If possible though, I invite you to stand for as many of the exercises as possible because any time you're bearing body weight, you're actually encouraging bone density and keeping your bones stronger. Bonnie and I will both be doing some standing exercises and Bonnie will be sitting for some of them. I invite you to join whichever of us feels most comfortable for you. Okay, let's get started with some hand exercises. Yep, that's right. As we age, the constant overuse and arthritis can make your hands stiff and sore. These exercises can be done anytime and can help you keep your hands stronger and more limber. Start out with your hands gently placed on either side of the ball. Press your pinky into the ball and just follow through with each of the fingers through to the thumb. And then doing it again at your own pace, just pressing into that ball. One, two, three, four, and five. A very simple exercise, but one that can be really helpful for reducing stress in your hands. And one more time through. Breathing as you go. And then pressing all your fingers into the ball, just squeezing that ball like you're trying to squeeze the air out of it. And release, opening those fingers up wide. Now squeeze into the ball as tightly as you can. And release. And once again, squeezing nice and tight. And release. See, we do have muscles in our hands. Can you feel them? 
Now I invite you to sit down and place that ball between your knees and start by squeezing your knees into the ball and release, squeeze and release, pressing those knees into the ball as you contract your inner thigh muscles. Squeeze and release, tightening that thigh muscle and release. Exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale. One more time. And now squeezing those knees into the ball and hold it nice and tight. Continue holding the ball and make a fist with your hands, squeezing the fingers nice and tight. And then open the fingers wide and squeeze them nice and tight. Boy, they're doing really good here. A lot of times it sounds like you're making popcorn when you do this exercise. Usually you have knuckles cracking all over. We're doing excellent. And squeeze and Hold them out, stretching those fingers as wide as you can. Now I'd like you to just dip your hands in like you're scooping water or soup. Scooping, scooping, stretching, and releasing the hands of your wrist. Like you're scooping water. And now you're gonna take, hold that water up and dump it out. So hold it up and dump it out. Again, each time you do that, you're stretching those fingers wide. And Release. Now bringing one hand forward, continue to squeeze that ball. Don't forget about that. And with the opposite hand, you're just gonna bend those fingers back and stretch all the muscles in your palm. Also drop your hand down so that you are stretching your forearm and your biceps as well. That one feels really good, doesn't it? Now switch hands so your opposite hand is forward, flexing those fingers back. And release. You ready to let go of the ball with your legs? Okay, you can pick that ball back up again and shake your legs out a little bit. See how a 99 cent ball can become an excellent piece of exercise equipment. We're gonna move from our legs and our hands into our chest. This is called a chest press. You're gonna bring the ball right in front of your chest with the heel of your hand on either side. Sit up nice and tall, inhale, and as you exhale, press those palms, the heel of your hand, into the ball. Press and release. And inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Each time you press, thinking of all of the muscles in your forearm, your biceps, and your shoulders and chest contracting nice and tight. It's not a real big movement, but it's a very effective movement for stretching and strengthening your chest and arms and press and two more and last one hold it in as tight as you can you may even see for me I'm shaking a little bit but that's good that means that you're really working your muscles at the level that you should be to create strength all right release Whew, that felt good we're gonna slide all the way back into our chairs at this point. We just worked those chest muscles, so now we're gonna stretch them out a little bit, taking the ball in your right hand and bring it around behind the chair. Your left hand is gonna go back and grab it and then bring it forward. And again, bringing it back behind you. And each time you do that, you're sitting up tall and opening up that chest. We spend lots of time in kind of a hunched over forward position. So anytime you can open your chest, it's very helpful, giving your lungs more room to expand. All right, bring it forward and hold. And we're just gonna switch directions. So we're bringing it around to the left this time. And forward. And bring it back. And forward. That's called the chest expansion. Just stretching and expanding the chest. Another way you can do this, if you have an exercise partner, you can stand hip to hip, back to back, and pass the ball to each other as you move. All right, and bring it forward and relax. Just rolling out those shoulders for a moment and take a nice deep breath. The next exercise we're gonna do is a ball bounce with our knees. From a sitting position, slide towards the edge of, edge of your chair and I'm gonna, we're going to all demonstrate starting out with this from a sitting position. Simply bringing the ball right above your knee. Gently lift your knee as you drop the ball. And then do it to the other side. 
This one is usually good for some laughter because you never know where the balls are going to end up. This obviously we are doing in a sitting position now, but as you feel stronger, feel free, you can do it from a standing position. And if you want to get really tricky, you can even move around. How are we doing back here? Okay, good. <laughs> Excellent. And this exercise, you're getting all those large muscles of your lower body working. And it works on good coordination for your eyes and hands as well. Looks good. All right. How many more of these should we do? Let's try for eight. Eight, seven, and six, five, four, three, two, and one. Wonderful job. Hopefully you're feeling your heart rate increasing a little bit, your muscles and your body getting a little bit warmer. I'm going to invite you all to stand at this point, uh, and we're going to do it an exercise that actually comes along with a little song. We're going to get started and see if you can guess what the song is. You start out by bringing the ball to your head and then you're going to bring it to your chest or your shoulders, your knees, bending all the way down to your toes and back up. So what song is it? You guessed. <laughs> head, shoulders, knees and toes. Let's try it to, with some tempo. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Now big circle around to the right. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Let's do it again. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Circling left this time. And eyes and ears, nice and big. Mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. That feels so good. Let's try it again. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Circling right. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Last time, we want to even it out on both sides. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Excellent. I hope you're breathing good, because I sure am. We're going to set the ball down now and move on to a different toy. Setting the ball down so it's within reach, because we will be using it again later. Now, I know that might have felt awkward, and maybe you haven't sang for a while, but whenever you do things out of the ordinary, it causes neurons in your brain to activate, which is excellent for preventing memory loss or even Alzheimer's disease. So that exercise is not only aerobic, but it's also neurobic, which means challenging the neurons in your brain, warming up your brain and your body at the same time. Besides, they say laughter is good medicine, right? So excellent job. Our next exercise, we are going to ski with paper plates. Grabbing your plates, please. Paper plates work great for this, and I think you buy a hundred for a dollar, so they're very inexpensive for exercise equipment. And we're going to set them on the floor and simply placing one foot on each of those plates. Sitting towards the edge of the chair so you have plenty of room to move your legs around. You are going to be moving quite a bit, so it is nice if you can hold on to the arms of your chair just for balance and stability. We're going to start by simply sliding one leg forward and one leg back in that traditional cross-country skiing movement. Now as we do this, you may notice that the muscles of your legs are getting nice and warm as you're pushing forward and back. Depending on your carpet, this could be harder or easier as the friction is actually what's creating resistance for the exercise. So pushing forward and back is strengthening all those muscles of your thighs as well as your lower leg. This is the best kind of skiing you can do because there's no snow and no cold. You can stay nice and warm while you're doing this one. 
Excellent. How are we feeling? Are we getting good and warm? Good yeah. job. All right. Now we're going to pause with that. Start by sliding your right foot in front of your left. Bring it nice and wide so you're getting a full range of motion. And then slide the left leg forward. Slide apart. And again, right comes in front and apart. And let's just repeat that at your own tempo. Just going at your own speed back and forth. This exercise is very, very helpful for preventing falls. And did you know the number one reason people are admitted to nursing homes is after an injury from a fall? One in four people over age 65 fall every year. We don't want to be one of those. So keep your balance by strengthening the muscles that help to prevent falling. Anytime you can strengthen the inner and outer thigh as well as your hip area is going to help you tremendously to prevent falls. And since we don't use this muscle very often, you do get tired rather quickly. So let's move on. Sitting up nice and tall again, we are going to slowly circle your feet around, circling them together. And around. And feel free to play around with your feet too. You can kind of go from your heel to toe, lifting your heel off as you come back. And then we are going to pause and switch directions. Sitting up nice and tall. I hope you're feeling your heart beating a little bit faster and your blood flowing, bringing energy to your whole body. All right, let's stop. And one last time, we're gonna go back to skiing just to center our bodies back into the middle. Excellent, remembering to breathe deeply as you're doing the exercises. Inhale and exhale. Whew, I think that's enough. Let's pause. You can slide those plates out of the way and grab your ball again, please. Now it gets quiet and you can hear me breathing heavily, so I hope you are too. With your ball, you're gonna hold it between your hands and slide your hips to the edge of the chair. Sitting up nice and tall, you're gonna reach that ball out in front of you and then slowly slide those shoulders back just till they're touching the edge of the seat and then slide up and back. This is called a ball reach and recline. And what I'd like you to do during this exercise, instead of this being a light rubber ball, I'd like to picture it being a heavy rock that you're lifting. And as you lift, you're contracting all the muscles of your abdomen, your back, Exhale and reach, inhale, come back. Lifting that heavy, heavy rock and come back. And it's amazing when you use your mind and you're thinking of this as heavier, your body actually tightens more and you recruit more muscles to do the job. All right. And back. And this time I'm gonna have you bring it back and hold, holding it nice and steady. And remember, it is not a rubber ball. It's a heavy, heavy rock. And you're using all your muscles to try to keep it up. Now extend your right leg out and release, sitting up. Slide back one more time. Ex hold it nice and tight. Extend your left leg out and release. Sitting up nice and tall, and exhale. We're gonna move to just doing some additional abdominal exercises, but we're gonna work the oblique muscle, which is a diagonal muscle in your abdomen. You're gonna turn, before we were opening our chest and bringing the ball back. This is slightly different. You're gonna turn and just touch your hip with the ball. Come back to the center and turn the other direction. And center and turn. Think of it like you're twisting a sponge. So the center of that sponge gets very narrow as you turn. So you're turning your shoulders to the side. Inhale, center. Exhale to the side. So really not using your arms or shoulders very much, but the majority of the movement is coming from your waist. And center. And side. 
and center. Side and center. Let's do one more to each side. And side, center, and last one, and center. Okay, we are gonna finish up with just a few more of those abdominal muscles. Your abdomen is so important for keeping your back healthy and strong. So we're gonna lift up and slide back, lift up and slide back, lift and slide back and hold. Breathing as you hold this position. So again, you never wanna hold your breath, only the muscles nice and tight. And inhale. All right, I'd like you to keep doing this exercise as long as you can. We'll be back in just a minute to stretch out. We'll see you in a moment. There are some things that change your world for the good. The day we met Debbie, Dad's comfort keeper, was a true Independence Day for him. Finding someone who cares for Dad in amazing ways, not just what she does for him, cooking, cleaning, and errands, but there's this bond, how they laugh and share memories. Knowing Comfort Keepers is there helping Dad live independently at home has made all the difference in both our worlds. Let Comfort Keepers bring comforting in-home care home to you. Welcome back. You guys worked hard. You deserve a drink of water. Mm, that tastes so good. We can never drink enough water. Really, it helps with everything from hydrating your skin to mental clarity and even helping with your digestive system. If you don't drink much water, start by drinking a glass with each meal of the day.